In this edition of ICIT Fellow Insights, we'll speak with Syed Masood, an ICIT Fellow and Federal CTO at Trend Micro, on why securing hybrid cloud environments continues to be a challenge and how organizations can leverage ready available technologies to secure their cloud environments. Hi, I'm Syed Masood, ICIT Fellow and Security Architect at Trend Micro, uh, part of the Federal CTO team. I think uh, you know, cloud is becoming, you know, very much available to consumers. They're looking at private clouds and public clouds, right? So one challenge that they're going to have and can continue to have is not being able to manage their workloads that are running in private cloud or data centers uh, and also in the public clouds, right? So if not having that visibility uh, will be a challenge for them. So there are multiple vendors, multiple solutions that are out there, but a lot of the vendors were taking their endpoint solutions and kind of like retrospect, you know, fitting it onto workloads that are running in public cloud or private cloud. What they were not uh, looking at was how do I manage, you know, regardless of where they're running. So the solutions like Trend Micro's deep security uh, solution for servers uh, running in public cloud, private cloud, data centers, in a hybrid or just in a cloud environment, being able to uh, manage workloads, uh, these virtual servers, physical servers, regardless of where they are, being able to manage them and have visibility and configuration capabilities from one single platform is going to be key. And I think that's uh, Trend Micro's deep security solution that offers that. Right, so when these cloud uh, migrations started to happen, you know, a lot of people thought, hey, I just, you know, I can go to Amazon's and the Microsoft Azure's and Google's and, you know, be, be done with it and not worry about the security aspects of their workloads. Uh, security is, you know, still top of mind, you know, even though you don't have to worry about all the aspects of security running on these cloud infrastructures, you still have to uh, make sure that uh, you have security, visibility, auditing capabilities, uh, those are available to you. And you know, if you don't, then you're going to miss out on and leave some gaps there. Yeah. Trend Micro has an extensive research team. As a matter of fact, recently, uh, as recent as uh, last week or so, Frost & Sullivan awarded Trend Micro the number one threat research uh, company award. And we're proud to uh, mention that here today because we're not talking about competing with other vendors. We're talking about competing with uh, the bad actors, the hackers, you know, you know, nation, you know, nation states. We want to make sure that we continue the fight because we know they're not going to stop. And you know, believe us that we're not. Believe me that you know, Trend Micro and our other colleagues, you know, from other vendors, we're not going to stop. You know, checking them, making sure that we continue to come out. So Trend Micro definitely has initiatives like Zero Day initiatives. We have uh, digital vaccine, Trend Micro Labs. We have uh, training, education available. We are partnering uh, you know, with the government, the DHS initiatives. So there's a lot that we're doing uh, from research uh, perspective. Uh, if you just visit our site, uh, trendmicro.com, or just go to blog.trendmicro.com, you will see all of the information available uh, at these sites. Fantastic initiative, right? So ICIT, we believe, is doing a lot of great work. You guys are bringing, um, you know, a lot of the public sector, the private sector together. You're bringing the thought leaders together. Uh, you're making this possible or easy for everyone to be aware of what's happening uh, on the cybersecurity front. Just this week, you had the cyber uh, intelligence briefing at the National Press Club and I thought it was fantastic because you had leaders, thought leaders, Air Force, DHS, uh, you know, uh, NIH, multiple government entities were involved and they all came out with their perspective and you had the private sector present there, right? So, and you had these, uh, you know, companies like Raytheon's and, uh, you know, um, NGIT and um, uh, Lockheed, all these leaders in cyber uh, initiatives, uh, uh, Trend Micro and other vendors there. So when we work together, when you guys provide us the platform to come share the knowledge that we have, our research, and then we bring, we're looking at forward uh, future, you know, threat uh, teams that are working to identify what's coming next, right? 
and then being able to identify that and share with public sector and with our colleagues in the industry. I think you guys are providing us that platform. So we'd love to support you on that and we'd love to continue being part of that initiative.